Welcome back. 13 survivors, six dead. January 8th, 2011 was a dark day in the history of our community, but the way we came together is worth celebrating in a big way. Here to tell us more about Tucson's January 8th memorial are Crystal Kaznoff and John Pettacone. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks thank for having us. It's a pleasure. It's, it's such an important part of our community that we're striving towards here. So we want to know what is the progress report of the memorial? Well, we have some very exciting news, Alex. We have just started the construction document phase. And for those of us who are not construction contractors, that means that it's the phase right before we break ground. So we have been able to fund all of those phases uh, through private donations in the community, which is just incredible. Uh, although we're still doing fundraising for the actual construction process, we're making significant headway. And uh, we also have some federal legislation we'll be talking about that's very exciting as well. That is exciting. So the you know the groundbreaking is going to happen. Uh, like you said, you're still doing fundraising. What are some of the ways that you're doing that fundraising? So we have a couple of uh, great ways that people can get involved. You know, it was really important to our board and survivors and victims' families mm -hmm. for the entire community to be involved, just like they were from day one supporting one another. So if people go to our website, which is TucsonsMemorial.org, they can see the plans for the memorial, and also there are some naming recognition opportunities, not in the memorial itself, because that's a very sacred area mm -hmm. to us, but around the memorial in a way that we lifted each other up during that time and still do, which is very, uh, a cool concept. Yeah. And, and additionally, we have a GoFundMe page. And if per somebody has one dollar or a million dollars, it doesn't matter. It's the community coming together so they can go to GoFundMe and uh, sl forward slash January 8th Memorial and, and give there. And that is just a tremendous way to get involved. Anything that people can do, like you said, will make a huge difference for this. You Absolutely. know, even just spiritually, it really makes a difference for everybody. And John Crystal mentioned the legislation, the federal legislation, mm -hmm. to make this a, a federal uh, mm -hmm. memorial. And so what, what's the update on that? Well, there are two companion bills, one in the House and one in the Senate. Mm -hmm. um, the House is being sponsored by Arizona legislators as well as legislators around the country because uh, obviously this is something that's important to, to everyone uh, and, it, and it deals with issues that are critical. Mm -hmm. And in the Senate, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's both Flake and McCain who are the co-sponsors co of the bill. So both pieces of legislation are moving forward and we expect that we'll hear a positive result very soon. Well, that's exciting to hear. And as somebody who has been involved in education uh, you know, for such a long time, what would you say the impact uh, that this is going to have on, on teaching our kids and teaching the community about democracy and about civil discourse? Yeah, I, I'm, I appreciate you mentioning that because this is really about more than, than simply the tragedy, which was terrible mm -hmm. in Tucson, but also, as Crystal mentioned, the resiliency of this community mm -hmm. and how we responded. But uh, as much as it's about that, it's also about democracy itself and about the idea of, of, of assembly well, when it's appropriate. Uh, that's how this happened. It was about a, a, a congressman, uh, a person that I knew personally, a good friend who was doing her duty. And uh, the fact that this incident occurs, just like the situation in Washington we heard about you know, uh, a few weeks ago, those things should shake us as, as, a, as a society. And children need to understand and p keep that into perspective and, and make that a positive lesson toward what they're going to be doing as citizens in this country. So I think it's really important on a number of different levels. Certainly. It has multiple levels, like you say, and it really is going to benefit everybody in some way or another. And Crystal, what, what is the reaction that you're getting from people, not only just the survivors uh, and the families of those affected, but anybody else who, who has heard about what you're planning? Yeah, it's been an amazing process to be a part of, Alex. Um, as we know, and sometimes I think that there's time that goes in between, it's been six and a half years, mm -hmm. but it really affected our entire nation. I mean, Congresswoman Giffords was the first member of Congress ever to have an attempted sa assassination while meeting with constituents. Mm -hmm. That is such a fundamental part of our democracy. Uh, we also lost the very first uh, congressional uh, staff member in the line of duty ever. And we lost a federal judge. We lost a nine-year-old little girl. So the, the issues here are not a political issue. The issues are about uniting, coming together and showing the world really how this community came together. Because it's not always the case that it's so cohesive and supportive when tragedy strikes. 
And in Tucson, in southern Arizona, we saw not only the entire state of Arizona, but people from around the country come together to support us. Well, and it's all about not celebrating the tragedy, but the resiliency mm -hmm. of Absolutely. the community. And it's just going to be a reminder of that going forward and really bring a, lot of bring a lot of pride to this city and a lot of pride to the people who live in it. So going forward, if people really want to get involved, besides the donations, which, is, which are always helpful, how can people really become a part of the process? Yeah, there are a few ways. So on our website, which you're going to display, there's a contact button and if people will send us an email I will personally uh, get back with them there's so many ways to volunteer and will be as the as the memorial is built uh, we really need that community involvement um, additionally if people can just go on the GoFundMe site and share on their social media we need to get the word out um, and a lot of people we find sometimes have it's it's been a while they maybe don't know where the memorial is so we just need to get the word out to the community because we have an incredible community and we we know that we'll pull through here yes it's all about communication about getting the word out and john you know in the last 30 seconds that we have mm -hmm. left what would you want to leave the folks at home with well i, th I think that there, all of us that have been involved in this effort on the board and, and, uh, and around the community understand the importance of this of this tragedy and again i i think it's as much about um, not forgetting what occurred on that day and on January 8th, but also about this community that people need to know. Um, steps up when the time comes and you turn tragedy into something very, very positive. Extend that to our nation and I think there's a lesson to be learned, uh, especially in, in, the, in the environment we have today. Uh, where people come together when it's important to do that. Well, so. certainly it gives everybody an opportunity to be part of the history yeah, of this right. town. So I want to thank you guys so much for joining us today and telling us all about this wonderful effort. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for, for having, having us. us. Of course. Now, if you would like to donate to Tucson's January 8th memorial, please visit the GoFundMe page listed on your screen there. Or to learn more, call 393-8317 or log on to tucsonsmemorial.org.